Upon arrival to the first house, it was clear that the area had already undergone a lot of work, as people were moving back into the area. The first house we worked at was in its worst condition. This area of New Orleans, called St. Bernard's, was still wet over six months after Hurricane Katrina. The team worked hard to clean up all the debris from the house and would salvage what they could. Just more junk. Just, 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 just get rid of The work was hard and long, with many obstacles to face in unknown conditions. To ensure protection from mold, dust, and harmful debris, protective clothing was worn, such as gloves and masks. When the work and heat was too much to bear, there was always prayer to get us through. Help her to be able to work more so we could do more of the work. And I pray for everybody else too that they won't have anything happen to them. We'll stay safe and that you'll keep your hand on us. After the debris was finally cleaned out, the house was then fully gutted so that it could be rebuilt in the future. After three days of hard labor, cleaning debris and gutting, our work here was done. Anna's house, located in the same area as Barbara's, was already clean of debris and gutted but required finishing touches before any repair work could be done. Anna's home was more relatively dry and had more favorable working conditions. Only one day was needed to be spent here. Anna was there to explain what work needed to be done. Well, and I'm proud to say, but, but you know, we're gonna try to put that up there across well even this i mean even if you didn't have the, the drapes right now but just this right here is just so nice as the window treatment with that on behind it yeah. my wife would think that was enough well i'll tell you what the drapes that went with this and right there you're looking at forty five hundred dollars i know i know my <laughs> this house two years ago. You know, I was here taking care of the lady that was, she was severely handicapped and I was here with her for 15 years. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, long term. Yeah, she wanted to take care of you. Passed it on to me, right? Return yep. the favor. <laughs> The third house we've worked at was Maisie's home. It was located near Anna's in the St. Bernard's district. Her house was over 120 years old. This house had many undamaged areas which needed to be preserved such as ceilings and trimming. But then we could take step by step I guess. 
That's the only stuff I could say about in the house out there, and what's in the house. A dining room set, a kitchen set. Oh, it was nice. We had a nice patio out there, and he had just brought me a patio. The debris was already cleared, so the team worked on removing tiles in the kitchen and drywall along the walls. Much care was required to not damage the underlying wood, which was still strong and usable. The team worked hard here, enduring hot temperatures and dust, and completed their work in two days. The last home was located in an area known as the Middle Ninth Ward. Unlike other houses, this house was almost completely So dead. there's also a fair bit of stuff that we can salvage in this place. Um, so whoever's working on this, like all their uh, crystal and stuff, is fine. It's in that cabinet right there. They have pictures up and stuff, so we're going to go around, so just be conscious of that. The rooms are shot for clothes. We don't need to worry about that stuff. So, but I don't think we'll get that far in today. So, ma masks and gloves, of course, but it's not wet. It's not gross. It's just stuff everywhere. Be just careful of the mold on your yeah. skin. So, if you're picking stuff up, the people who are picking anything up moldy, uh, make sure you have a long, a long stuff shirt. Work was done to clean the debris inside but also outside where tar roofing from the neighboring house had fallen in the backyard. This house was home to the Littles family and it was especially hard to work here because they returned the same day and saw the destruction of their home for the first time. They were there to share their stories and how they were coping with the disaster. Not my first hurricane. We've had to leave town before, but we've always been able to come back. So This is the first one that really turned out like this. This house was actually flooded on May 8, 1995, but it was nothing like Katrina. We had to tear all the walls out from four feet down, but it, it was nothing like this. The water never got this. We didn't lose everything. Everyone was having trouble wanting to get there. A lot of things happened when we got there. We almost split up, but everyone in my family has, pretty much everyone has moved down to Dallas. So we're all together still, living in different houses. Same arrangement we have in New Orleans. On the second day, most of the debris was cleared from the building. Drywalling was next. The house was completely gutted and cleaned of debris, as well as the backyard, within two days of work. Completion of this fourth home would be the end of our mission work.